Hello. Lindsay. I am so excited to talk to you. Awesome. Congratulations <laughs> on the weakest leak. Are you so excited? I am very excited. You know, I read that the show premiered like 20 years ago. Yes. Uh, is there anything new? Has it evolved at all? No, and that's what's so great about it is that it's based on the BBC quiz show format and it's uh, rapid fire questions uh, with a reference level uh, um, that is uh, a little humbling for those of us who aren't super geniuses. Um, but what's great about it is as an audience member, you know a lot of the answers and you don't know a lot of the answers. So it's uh, affirming of your education and it's also educational. So you learn something every time. That is great. Now, were you a fan of the show? I was, I did. I watched it in the early aughts. And then of course, to get ready for this incarnation, I watched it uh, on YouTube and to see how Ann Robinson, you know, uh, steered the ship and learned a lot about, you know, hosting this particular game show by watching her. And have you ever in real life said to somebody, you are the weakest link, goodbye? Because I never. No. Now I've said it, now I've said it 13, oh, more than that. I've, I've said it about a hundred times now, but never in my life had I said it before. I love it. That's so great. Now, um, you mentioned the previous host. I love watching you as a game show host. You are the best in the business right now. But who did you look up to? Who did you admire? And who did you kind of learn from? Well, Ann Robinson, for sure. Um, uh, and I love how concise she is and how she uh, uh, steers the ship of this particular game. And I learned a lot doing that. But I love Jean Rayburn, who hosted uh, uh, the, the match game on um, uh, Oh God, it would have been in the 70s. And I loved watching that show. I loved that game show. That was the one game show that I would watch every day. I love it. Okay, now, do you even have time to formulate an opinion of certain contestants? Do you root for certain people? Are you actually disappointed if they, they don't make it to the end? No, not really. You know, and I'm not supposed to. And if I did, like, deep in my heart, uh, harbor some favoritism. I wouldn't let anybody know, of course. And and my job is to, you know, kind of bring, you know, knock everybody down a notch. You know, I'm the same way that Am Robinson was kind of a stern taskmaster. I can uh, kind of uh, pull out the arrow and go straight towards someone's heart and their self esteem. <laughs> Well, um, like I said before, you are the hardest working woman sometimes in Hollywood. You're mm -hmm. on every channel, every commercial break is, you know, somebody really? has your beautiful face on it. Um, did you have to audition for this or was it a no brainer? It's absolutely not. I don't audition anymore, my <laughs> dear. Um, but you know, I was, I, I auditioned and I think that's one of the reasons that um, my, my skin is kind of thick and uh, I don't get knocked down that easily, is that, you know, I auditioned up until, you know, I was 40 years old. Um, and so that's a lot of auditioning when you think I started my career. I started in theater at around 26. Um, so that's a, that's a lot of time to uh, be rejected and accepted and kind of get where you get knocked down, but you pick yourself up, dutch, dust yourself off and start all over again. So I think that that has, has helped me in, um, Kind of, you know, navigating life's ups and downs and, uh, you know, and I think it also makes me a good game show host I, because I, I can have compassion for the people and I have confidence in myself where I can steer the ship and make them all feel comfortable. And so I think it's kind of all led me to this moment of hosting The Weakest Link. Oh, you're glorious. I love these sound bites. Uh, you're so <laughs> good at what you do. I, um, I'm very conscious of sound bites. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you think, because I love what you said um, in, that, in that last statement, do you think that this is going to be an escape for people? Life is really tough right now. People need to, di people sometimes just need to dis dis disconnect, whether it's social media, political, just kind of the scary stuff going on in the world. Well, the thing about this is that you, you don't disconnect so much as you connect to something fun. And you, because you really have to, um, you don't have to, but it's an engaged solid hour of game show. Um, I think you'll be on the edge of your seat 
and uh, there will be brain teasers for you and you'll be impressed with how much you know and then you'll be shocked by how much you don't know. It's, a, it's quite a, a, an active hour, but you're not thinking about politics and you're not thinking about climate change and you're not thinking about fires. You're in, you know, engaged in something um, that you know, you're not brain dead. Your brain is actually working and engaged and it's quite satisfying at the end of the hour, I think. And you're going through a lot of crazy topics, I imagine. Are you asking any questions that have sparked something in your mind where you, you walk off set and you have to Google this now? Like oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Um, I had no idea that the, the, most, uh, the, the biggest amount of element in the earth was nitrogen. I had no idea that Mount Whitney was the highest mountain in uh, the country. There were so many things I learned that I was like, wow, I want to look that up. And yeah, absolutely. I think it inspires people to uh, do further investigation. And, um, you know, you are such a good host, but you do such a, a variety of shows. Were there any challenges in this particular show? I mean, you're you, sometimes you've got celebrities on the set. Sometimes you've got totally normal people. And now we've got COVID-19. Well, this show is all, is all contestants. It's, yeah. There are no celebrities. Yeah. Uh, Hollywood Game Night was celebrities. Um, but uh, yeah, these are all contestants. And um, I, I guess it depends on what you mean by challenging. There was nothing difficult that I didn't think I, I couldn't handle. In fact, that was one of the reasons at this late uh, uh, stage in my life, I don't take on things that are too very difficult or challenging. I kind of like to go right for the sweet spot. So um, it's this show is kind of in the sweet, sweet spot for me. I, I'm a person who likes to make people feel comfortable. I love to um, be the person in control of the game. I like to be the person who explains the rules. And um, it's, this is almost a militaristic show. There's no fluff in this show. It's very precise and it's in this kind of little cage and we all bounce around freely within that. But, and I think that's what's so fun about it too is that every time you watch the show, you know how this goes. It's just the questions are different. Well, I, I know that I'm running out of time, but I just have to tell you, and I'm sure you're well aware of your brand, but whenever I see- The way you talk, my brand, my sound bites, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> whenever I see your face, whenever I hear your voice, it reminds me, and I'm not going to cry, but it reminds me of my dad laughing, looking at me to make sure I'm laughing at you. Aww. That you are so positive and you are such a wonderful escape from reality. You are just such a breath of fresh air. And I just, I have to stress that you are such a wonderful escape right now. I just am so excited for you. Well, thank you for that. That's really very sweet. I'm glad I remind you of your father laughing because that, that's one of the things that, um, you know, makes me the happiest is when I remember my father laughing. Oh, yeah. well, thank you so much for your time today. And I hope you have a great day. And I'm so excited for the you week. Too. Thank you, darling. Bye. Bye-bye.